Open source intelligence. It's been rapidly evolving over the last few years with developments in machine learning and AI. And this video is part of a series where I go through the best tools that you can find hidden information with. In my previous video, we looked at OSINT tools that help you find usernames and emails. And if you haven't seen that already, then click the banner above. In this video, we're going to look at finding all sorts of hidden information, which is not normally visible without the right OSINT tools. If you like this type of stuff or you're into cybersecurity, then join my Discord with the link in the comments below. Just remember that everything in this video is for educational purposes only. Right, without no further ado, let's look at our first tool, which is Criminal IP. This tool is essentially an AI-powered threat intelligence search engine, and it offers you all the latest data on all internet-connected assets, which basically gives you visibility into cyberspace. There is of course many use cases that you can use for it, as we'll see shortly, but you can essentially use it to enhance your security posture of your network, because it offers you real-time insights and risk scoring for things like IP addresses and domains, which are all very context rich, which is very important when you're conducting investigations in cybersecurity. So you'll essentially be able to gain visibility into IP addresses by accessing critical information like open ports, vulnerabilities and exposures, masking services, who is data, connected domains, certificates in use and history of malicious activity in the past. All really, really important. And you'll also get some domain insights, which is also a key to an investigation. You can uncover hidden risks behind the domains with the real time scanning. Their integrations that they already have in place will provide you information on subdomains, phishing scores, abuse history, or identification of malicious mail servers, and many more. So it's definitely worth checking out. We'll pop in an IP address here so you can see an example of what you'll be able to see. Don't visit this IP address, I'm just using this for information purposes. The holistic view that you'll get of the domain will help you proactively identify and mitigate a potential threat that might be coming your way. So we're giving this IP address a search and you can see straight away that we've been given IP scoring. So inbound has been rated at critical and is at 99% confidence that it is a malicious IP address. You can see how many other people have also viewed the address and what critical vulnerabilities it has. On the right hand side, we see more information such as proxy IP, VPN IP, connected domains, the abuse record score, how many open ports and vulnerabilities on that specific IP address. We've got some who is information and a screenshot which sometimes is provided. We've got a list of the open ports so we can see TCP port 21, TCP port 22 and a list of the vulnerabilities on that domain. And there's many different pages for this specific IP address and we'll just keep scrolling down so you can see what else is available. We have a bit of historical information we can see a timeline graph for 2024 and what exactly has happened on different days. And then we have the scanner telling us the user agent and any comments that have been made. So all really important information when you're wanting to know more information about an IP address that you can't get straight away. Using the integrations that Criminal IP have in the background is really useful when you're wanting to know more information that you can't see at the forefront when looking for an IP address. So I definitely recommend you save this one or check it out if you just want to see what's available on there. Moving on then to our second tool that we have today, it's Grey Hat Warfare. As mentioned before, all the links for these will be in the description below if you want to check them out. So what is Grey Hat Warfare? Well, for this tool to be useful for you, you need to understand Amazon S3 buckets. So Amazon S3, for people that don't know, is possibly the most popular cloud-based service available on the market at the moment. And that's largely because it's very easily accessible. It's not really that expensive for data storage. And the platform itself is capable of serving loads of different important use cases and providing many organizations with infrastructure. And over the years, quite a number of serious data leaks at major companies have taken place due to Amazon S3 buckets. And because of that, all kinds of sensitive information has been made publicly available. And this is where Grey Hat Warfare comes in. So Grey Hat Warfare is basically an online index for open buckets and the files inside of them. The website offers three different user levels. You have free, registered and premium. 
so even if you just want to check this out you can do it completely for free. And there is of course many different use cases out there for why you might want to do it. For example, if you work for an organization and you want to see if there's any sensitive information out there, then you can use this tool to do so. We're going to give an example now of how you can use it and what information comes up, just so you know exactly how to search. So you can search for any type of keywords, depending on what information you want to look for. So for this example, we'll just type in something like important and give that a search. I've noticed sometimes it does take quite long and sometimes it's quite quick. It's probably just dependent on what keyword you've searched. And there you go, we have it. We can now see, as soon as we've clicked the search button, what information has come up. So you can see there is a large number of results. There is over 31,000 different results. We have the name of the bucket on the left hand side with the file name in the middle, the container it's in, the size and the last time it was modified. So obviously the size of the bucket or the file will give you an indication as to how much is in it. And just scrolling through, you can see different options and different features for actions that you can take, whether that's going to the bucket or the file or just removing something from your search. Then you can flick between different pages looking for whatever it is that you need. There's loads of information here. As I said before, Amazon S3 is really, really popular and it's used by many organizations across the world. So I definitely recommend checking out this tool to see how it may be, able, may be able to benefit you in your job or in your research for cybersecurity. You can also toggle between different ways of searching, whether that's through a full path or treating it as regex. So there's many different ways for you to try this and experiment as you see fit. That covers all we have for Greyhat Warfare. So now let's move on to netlast.io. Now, what is netlast.io? Well, it essentially is a tool that scans every IPv4 address and crawls every known website and web application utilizing protocols such as HTTP, FTP, SMTP, POP3, IMAP, and you get the picture. There's many others out there that it does. It will essentially look at things like domain names, DNS lookups, who is records, registrants info. And it does that by doing everything on the left hand side, like I've just explained. Let's jump into the website and I'll show you exactly what it does and how it does it. So there are five general data collections available right now. There's internet scan results, DNS registry, IP who is, domain who is, and SSL certificates. And looking at the queries specifically, you can basically build them using different conditions and different operators. You can try to search using things like who is fields, GOIP data, or just something like technology and the product names. Or if you just have the vulnerability itself, you can search using that. So let's go for a specific example here to see what information is populated and what information do we get back when we search an IP address. So I've got one as an example, I've hit search and I've got the results straight away. So now we know the location of this IP address. We've got some information who the address is delegated to in terms of organization and location. Then we've got related domains, so we can even go and jump into those a bit more. Or we can just look at exposed ports and software behind this IP address. So we've got information on all sorts of activity just by searching this domain. So really, really useful. And another thing that it has is something called attack surface. I'll give you more information on this shortly and show what exactly what this means. But it's really good for building out information on threat actors. You then also have another tool within this called response search. So from time to time, netless.io will scan every domain and you can see exactly how they respond when you put the information in. It also has something tied to that called DNS search. And you have some examples which we'll click into just to see what type of information you get. So once we've clicked that domain, we can see loads of information. And related to that is also who is type of activity and domain who is and searching for certificates. All really good information that you'll want to know about IP addresses or domains. Now, when we were talking about the attack surface, what exactly can they do on netless.io? Well, it's a really great feature and I've been playing around with it. Essentially, you start with a single domain or an IP address and build a complete attack surface for your target or potential target in just a few clicks and they also allow you to save it, share it, and download it as a list for potential future scanning. 
So you can see it's got really cool features that allow you to build something out and save it for future information. Other cool features that I found on this is that the scanners allow up to five HTTP redirects, which is really useful, especially for malicious IPs or domains. It flags potentially vulnerable services and provides you links to external tools that allow you to perform active vulnerability assessment tests. And its query string is simple and flexible enough to create complex queries. So it's not something that's just really, really basic. You can get really into depth. And then it's got integrations into things like Multigo, Firefox, Subfinder, and many, many more. So a really good tool and probably one of my favorite ones in terms of the tool itself and the technical stuff behind it, but also the way that the user can use it. It's really easy to use. Hopefully you found all that information really useful. And if you have, or you've even gone to check the tools out, please do leave a like on the video. It massively helps it out and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content. I do have a Discord channel where I give all sorts of tips and we talk about these types of tools. So if you're interested, then click the link in the comment section and let me know that you've joined based off this video. Once you check these tools out, do leave a comment down below. Let me know how you found it. And if you want to do these types of videos in any other way, just let me know. I'm happy to go with your requests.